this experiment uh, is uh, where we're going to generate some acetyl acetylene gas or e ethane gas and uh, again for the hell of it just explode it just light it and explode it and uh, a very handy way to make acetylene gas or ethane is to use calcium carbide okay CaC2 and calcium carbide was used uh, by my parents' generation and the, uh, to uh, to light the lamps of their bicycle lamps, and it's used on miners' lamps. And how it works is, I mean, it's essentially just uh, in this form, which we got, it's in pellets, and you buy it in a tin, which are slightly larger nuggets. Uh, maybe if I put them in here, you might be able to see them. Can you? Yeah? Okay, so sort of like stone chippings. And the idea in former times, I suppose, was that you had one of these little stone chippings, or maybe a bigger nugget, probably, I mean, maybe, maybe that size, and you would put it into a lamp, and the lamp had a little uh, water reservoir above it, and you would drip water onto the stone, it looks like a stone, and uh, so the water would react with the calcium carbide to generate C2H2 acetylene gas, and you would light, that would blow out through the little uh, dome in the lamp, I guess, and you'd light it and it would reflect out and you, you, you'd find your way home from the ballroom of romance on your own, yet again. Yeah. Um, and uh, the idea here is that I have a bottle, an ordinary 200, what is it, two, 300, I don't know, 200 ml, whatever, normal sort of drinking Ballygown bottle or whatever it is, and I've just punctured a small hole in it, uh, you know, just a little bit up a couple of inches up or so and I've, I've filled it with water just below the level of the hole you just need a bit of water in here and the idea is that you you add in you know two or three little pellets of, of, a, of a calcium carbide and then what you do is you take a sheet of newspaper and uh, scrunch it up into um, a wad like this such that it fits very tightly in here you want to get a good tight fit okay you know, and <clears throat> I would do this before you start the experiment. Have your wad of paper ready, and just make sure that it's a good snug fit. And you can take it back out again. The snugger the fit, the better the experiment will go. The better the demonstration will go. And the idea is that you drop in your calcium, your calcium carbide, and you can talk away explaining about calcium carbide and that it's reacting. And the students should be able to see a little bit of bubbling and fizzing in here, um, which is characteristic of the the acetylene being um, or the ethane or acetylene being generated. <coughs> Give it a few seconds as you're filling in the, uh, the wad of paper and then just, just light it at the side of the hole with your, your little uh, 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 barbecue lighter here. And uh, <coughs> the acetylene that you'll have generated will, will light and it, because it's such a broad ex explosive range it'll explode. And because you'll have built a pressure in here with the wad of paper you get a, a very loud bang, a uh, very satisfying bang we'll say. Yeah? So I'll just do it here, I'll just take out to show you the size. I'll just put maybe two of them in. That's, that's plenty. And I'll put these ones back. Uh, this calcium carbide is uh, it says piece, pieces which, which are thickness less than 10, 10 millimeters. But they're, they're a nice size actually. So I'll just pop them in here. One. I think you should be able to see a little bit of bubbling there. Yeah. So there's the reaction of calcium carbide with water to give you ethane or acetylene. And it's building up all the while now in the bottle, and the bottle is getting cloudy as you're getting a bit of calcium hydroxide I guess, formed in it as well. And you're talking away, filling away, uh, and then you get it and you, you just light it. And I don't know if that wrecked the camera, but uh, that, uh, that's the loud, satisfying bang that you get. And now you can do it with the paper, which I, I find uh, works very well. Uh, some people use a, a cork instead of paper, uh, you know, but use a cork cork rather than a rubber bung uh, because, I mean, the cork cork is quite light, you know, and the paper is quite light um, so that when they shoot up in the air, they're not going to dent uh, tiles in the roof and, you know, if you have a sort of a panelled ceiling in your, in your classroom or something like that. I wouldn't use a rubber bung because, I mean, that has a certain amount of mass in it and, I mean, you, you have a serious projectile there. So, but I find, I find the paper works very well. And uh, it's still bubbling away here, and I mean, you, you, can, you, can, you can dispose, it's an aqueous uh, uh, alkaline solution at this stage, and you can, you can just flush it away. Um, safety points on it, really, I mean, certainly just, just one or two of the little chips of calcium carbide. Um, the paper, nice and tight fit, the tighter the fit, the bigger the bang. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that that's pretty much it. Okay, thank you.